Cancer or Moonchild, as we like to refer to you. Here's your reading for this week, starting the 17th of March. It's a general reading, so take from it everything that resonates with you and leave behind anything else. I'm using my teacup tarot and my Time to Shine Oracle. So starting off with your overall energy. We've got the Page of Wands. Now the pages are all messengers. They all have envelopes on the card. And the Page of Wands brings in good news, brilliant new ideas, things that you've been manifesting, coming into view, news of new opportunities and creative projects. So stay awake for information coming in to find you this week. Your help or your hurdle the Queen of Pencils steps in. Now, the Queens are authority figures in the deck and the Queen of Pencils is very clear thinking, uh, very grounded, very logical and has absolutely no hesitation in getting rid of anything that isn't working, isn't serving her well. It's very much out with the old and in with the new. It's a real breath of fresh air kind of energy. And the Queen of Pencils has no hesitation. She will just say, this is working, this isn't working. Keep this. We need to let go of that. So when these new ideas and messages and information comes in, the Queen of Pencils says, use your discernment. When you're looking at those, work out what's going to work, how things are going to work well for you and be ready to leave behind anything that doesn't work so well. Your focus, the unity card, is lovely. This is working with other people and it's everybody working well together. It's about meetings. It's about teaching. It's about mentoring. It's about everybody bringing their expertise to the table for the benefit of everybody else and working out new ways forward where everybody benefits so that's lovely mindfulness for you to be taking note of this week how can you help yourself the two of teacups is about conversation and discussion this is about clear communication talking things over this is a card of lovely partnerships, but it's also the card that says make sure you clearly understand one another. So it's talking and listening and clarity in communication. Pulling it all together, the Ten of Pencils says expect the situation to get better. Here she is climbing up this ladder and with each step on the ladder, things are getting better and so much better. The outcome is a mindfulness card, the Four of Coins, which asks you to take care of any extremes of too much or too little. Look, she needs to balance these scales. So this is financial balance. You need to balance your bank account. It's work-life balance. Make sure that you schedule time in to have a rest and relax as well as working. This card asks you, how much time do you give away without taking time out for yourself? So all those things need considering this week and you need to strike a balance right down the middle. So just looking at your tarot cards, news, positive news, new information coming in, new ideas, um, new opportunities coming in, especially about something that you really enjoy. Be discerning. Keep and move forward with everything that works and leave behind anything else. Talk things over. This is working well with other people, working as part of a team. And make sure that you are crystal clear in your communication with other people. There's a lovely theme here of the situation improving and you focusing on balance. The coins is all about home life, work life, financial life, family life. So you really do need to get the word balance right across the board with those. So let's get a bit more information from the Time to Shine deck. 
The One of Wisdom says, this is the Magician card. It's time for you to shine your light. You are ready. You have everything you need. You can do it. Your Help or Hurdle. This is lovely. This is the Star card. 17 of Wisdom. This is you enjoying positive outcomes. Credit for your achievements, recognition and appreciation. Fantastic two cards here. And the third card here, what do you need to focus on? Doing the groundwork, getting things started, acting on these new ideas and then knowing that the success will come in divine and appropriate timing. How can you help yourself? Following your plans and your needs. Time to close the door on the old ways. This is what this Queen of Pencils energy is all about. This is about you setting off in a new direction, focusing on your needs and moving forward with optimism. Pulling it all together. Here you are, the four of action. This is lovely. This is a card where you are being appreciated for everything you do and all that you are. It's a card of contentment. It's a card of joy. It's a card of you receiving with grace and gratitude. It's very easy to always be the giver and it's just as important to receive. And your final outcome card is lovely. The 14 of wisdom. This is the temperance card in traditional tarot. This is about you bringing wonderful ideas together. It's lovely that it's at the end of the reading. Mixing ideas together. This is the card of compromise, of balance. And when you mix all different ideas together, that's where the success can be found. So very much an echo of talking things over here and working things out here. Compromise and balance. So looking at your reading overall, new information coming in, you working out what will work for you, what will not work for you, thinking it through, talking it over, working out a way forward which suits everyone. Putting balance into the equation in finances, home life, work life. Starting to do the groundwork, taking the first action steps now, compromising where you need to. And then here you are. The magician says you are ready, you can do it. And the 17 of wisdom is the card, the star card. This is you stepping up stepping into the spotlight and you receiving credit for all your achievements, for everything that you do and all that you are. This is recognition and appreciation. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you even more for subscribing and supporting my channel. Just click that button. It's free to do that and it's much appreciated. So look after yourselves. Take care, have a good week and I'll see you here soon.